Hello students. So moving on with chapter 4, quadratic equations. So we shall solve the problems given in the NCERT exemplar. So that is exercise 4.1 where you have multiple choice questions. So beginning with the first one, the first question states that which of the following is a quadratic equation? So you have four equations given and we need to identify which of them is a quadratic equation. Now what is the easiest way to identify? Now when we have to solve MCQ questions, we have to solve these questions and get the right answer using minimum time. So let's take the first one x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 4 minus x the whole square plus 3. So without solving the entire equation, so what I'll do is if I expand this, I get x squared minus 8x. So I'm not bothered. So here I have x squared plus 2x. So we know that x squared x squared gets cancelled. And this is not a quadratic equation. Why? Because for a quadratic equation, it has to be of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So without the x squared term, this is not a quadratic equation. So this is not. Second, b, you have minus 2x squared equals 5 minus x into 2x minus 2 by 5. So just multiply the term where you, you get the x squared. So you have minus x into 2 x which is minus 2x square and here you have minus 2x square these two will get cancelled so this equation if you simplify will not have the x square term so this is not a quadratic equation c k plus 1 into x square plus 3 by 2x equals 7 where k equals minus 1. So when k is equal to minus 1, minus 1 plus 1 you get 0. So 0 into x square is 0. So this term gets removed. So you do not have the x square term. So this also is not a quadratic equation. So observe that you don't have to simplify completely to identify whether the equation is a quadratic equation. d x cube minus x square equals x minus 1 the whole cube. So here you have a minus b whole cube. So what is the formula? a minus b the whole cube equals a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b. So we'll just use this formula. So a is x, b is 1. So we have a cube which is x cube minus 1 cube minus 3x into 1 into x minus 1. So here you have x cube minus x square. So remember x cube, x cube gets cancelled, which is equal to minus 1 minus 3x square plus 3x minus x square. So bring all the terms to LHS. So you get plus 3x square minus x square becomes 2x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. So the right option is D. Right? So actually when you have observed that 1, 2 and 3, A, B and C are not quadratic equations, you can directly take D, but I've solved and I've got the expression as 2x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. So D is the right option for the first one. The second one, 2 into x minus 1 the whole square equals 4 x square minus 2x plus 1. So again multiply this, expand this. So here you get x square minus 2x plus 1 into 2 equals 4x square minus 2x plus 1. So this is 2x square here. Here you have 4x square. So if I bring this to this side, you get 2x square. So this is a quadratic equation. So observe in equation two, in question 2, we have to identify which is not a quadratic equation. So this is a quadratic equation. B. 2x minus x square equals x square plus 5. So take all the terms to RHS, you get x square plus x square. So 2x square minus 2x plus 5 equal to 0 is a quadratic equation. C, root 2x plus root 3 the whole square equals 3x square minus 5x. Right? So if I square this, I get 2x square and here you get 3x square. 
so if i bring 2x square to the other side i get x square so this again is a quadratic equation so of course the right option is d which is not a quadratic equation it happens to be d so let's check it out so x square plus 2x the whole square equals x power 4 plus 3 plus 4 x square so let me square this using a plus b the whole square which is a square which is x power 4 plus 2 into a b which is 4 x cube plus b square 4 x square equals x power 4 plus 3 plus 4 x square so x power 4 gets cancelled 4x square gets cancelled so you are left with 4x cube equals 3 which is not a quadratic equation so the right option is option d so question 3 which of the following equation has 2 as a root so if 2 is a root of a quadratic equation and if i substitute the value of x equal to 2 then the equation becomes equal to 0 so let's check for all the four cases x square minus 4x plus 5 so if i put x equal to 2 it should be equal to 0 so this means i have 4 minus 4 into 2 is 8 plus 5 so i get 9 minus 8 which is not equal to 0 right so a is not the right answer next uh, b so you have x square plus 3x minus 12 equal to 0 so put x equal to 2 i get 4 plus 3 into 2 is 6 minus 12 so you get 10 minus 12 which is minus 2 definitely not equal to 0 right so b is not the right option c 2x square minus 7x plus 6 equals 0 so put x equal to 2 so I get 2 into 2 square is 4 minus 14 plus 6. So 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 minus 14 is 0. So C is the right option. Right? So of course if you put x equal to 2 in the equation D, you will of course not get the equation to be equal to 0. So the right option is C. 1 by 2 is a root of the equation x square plus kx minus 5 by 4 equal to 0 then what is the value of k so given that 1 by 2 is a root of the equation that means if i put x equal to 1 by 2 this equation becomes equal to 0 so let me put x equal to 1 by 2 so i have 1 by 2 the whole square plus k by 2 minus 5 by 4 is equal to 0 so i have 1 by 4 minus 5 by 4 plus k by 2 equals 0 so here i get minus 4 by 4 plus k by 2 equals 0 so this is minus 1 so 4 4 gets cancelled plus k by 2 equals 0 so minus 1 take it to the other side so i get k by 2 equals 1 or k equals 2 so observe all the four options it is option a right so k equal to 2 is option a so that is the right answer which of the following equations has the sum of the roots as 3 so sum of the roots meaning alpha plus beta equals 3 which is nothing but equal to minus b by a so i have the equation ax squared plus bx plus c where b is the coefficient of x and a happens to be the coefficient of x square so the sum of roots is nothing but equal to minus b by a so check if minus b by a equals 3 so let's consider the first one 2x square minus 3x plus 6 equals 0 so here b is minus 3 a is 2 so what is minus b by a minus of b is minus 3 by 2 which is 3 by 2 which is not equal to 3 so a is not the right answer b minus x square plus 3x minus 3 equal to 0 so b is 3 a is minus 1 so minus of b is 3 divided by minus 1 is 3 so definitely i have 3 which is minus b by a so therefore b happens to be the right option right so this is the equation having the sum of roots equal to 3 
So the right option is B for question 5. 6. Find the values of k for which the quadratic equation 2x square minus kx plus k equal to 0 has equal roots. So there are four options. So we know that if the roots are equal then d equals b square minus 4ac which is equal to 0. So the discriminant b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. So what is b? b is minus k, the coefficient of x, a is 2, the coefficient of x square and c is k. So substitute it here. So minus k the whole square minus 4 into 2 into k equals 0. Right? So I have k square minus 8k equals 0. Take k common. k minus 8 equals 0. So k is equal to 0 is one option. k minus 8 equals 0 or k equals 8. Right? So the two values of a are 0 and 8. So it is option D. Seventh one, which constant term must be added and subtracted to solve the quadratic equation 9x square plus 3 by 3 by 4x minus root 2 equal to 0 by the method of completing the square. Right? So when we usually solve by using the method of completing the square observe the square term. So here I have 9x square which can be written as 3x the whole square. Now given the equation a plus b the whole square equals a square plus 2ab plus b square. I've already got a. So a equals 3x. Then I have plus 2 into a is 3x and then b. So what is b? I need to find b. But 2ab is nothing but 3 by 4x. So remember 2ab is nothing but 3 by 4x. So I need to find the value of b. So I have 2 into what is a? 3x. b I need to find out is equal to 3x by 4. So 3x, 3x gets cancelled. b equals 1 by 8. So b is equal to 1 by 8. So I need to have b which is 1 by 8. So this is 2ab. Now I do not have b square. So 1 by 8 the whole square is added. I have to subtract the value 1 by 8 the whole square because the value of the equation should not change minus root 2 equals 0. So observe that here if I cancel 2 and 8, 2 ones are and uh, 2 fours are I still get 3 by 4x. So the value of the equation has not changed. So what has to be added and subtracted to solve the equation? So what has to be added and subtracted? I have added 1 by 8 square and subtracted 1 by 8 square which is 1 by 64. So observe the four options. It is option B. So 1 by 64 has to be added and subtracted so that the equation can be solved. This equation can be solved by the method of completing the squares. Eighth one, the quadratic equation 2x square minus root 5x plus 1 equal to 0 has. Now we need to identify. So the discriminant d equals b square minus 4ac. So let's find out what this is. a is 2, the coefficient of x square. b equals minus root 5, the coefficient of x and c equals 1. b square is minus root 5 the whole square which is 5 minus 4 into 2 into 1. So what do you get? You get 5 minus 8 which is minus 3. So when the discriminant is negative then its roots are not real. So therefore observe the four options. It is option c which says that it has no real roots. So the right option is option c very simple one. Question 9. Which of the following equations have two distinct real roots? Now for the equation to have two distinct real roots, discriminant which is b square minus 4ac has to be greater than 0. So let's check for all the four. a you have 2x square minus 3 root 2x plus 9 by 4 equal to 0. So what is a? a is 2. 
b is minus 3 root 2 and c is 9 by 4 right so what is b square b square is minus 3 root 2 the whole square which is 9 into 2 which is 18 minus 4 into a is 2 into c is 9 by 4 so 4 4 gets cancelled so you have 18 minus 18 which is equal to 0 right so b square minus 4 ac is equal to 0 so therefore it is not option a so let's check out the second one x square plus x minus 5 equals 0 now what is a a is 1 b is 1 c is minus 5 so b square is 1 square minus 4 into a into minus 5 so observe minus 4 into minus 5 is plus 20 which is 21 greater than 0 so which of the equation has two distinct real roots it is equation x square plus x minus 5 so it is option b so the right option is b tenth one which of the following equations has no real roots so no real roots meaning d which is b square minus 4ac has to be less than 0 so let's consider the first equation x square minus 4x plus 3 root 2 equals 0 so a is 1 b is minus 4 and c is 3 root 2 so what is b square minus 4 ac b square is minus 4 square which is 16 minus 4 into 1 into c which is 3 root 2 right so you have 16 minus 12 root 2 so root 2 is 1.4 so 16 minus 12 into 1.4 okay so i will get the value as 16 minus so if i multiply these two i get something like 16.92 which is minus 0.92 so definitely it is less than zero so the right answer is option a so we get the first equation itself which happens to be the right answer so question 11 x square plus 1 the whole square minus x square equal to 0 has so we need to identify the nature of the roots right so here let me uh, expand this so i have x power 4 so this is a plus b the whole square format so x square is x square the whole square plus 2 x square 2 into a into b plus b square is 1 minus x square equal 0 so i get x power 4 plus x square plus 1 equals 0 so now the question is i have an equation with the highest power equal to 4 and we are talking about quadratic equation where the highest power of the variable x is 2 so how do i solve it now the easiest way is let me make a substitution let y be equal to x square now in that case i get y square plus y plus 1 equal to 0 so here I get a quadratic equation in terms of y. It's in terms of y. All right. So now let us find the discriminant or discriminant of this. Okay. This equation. So a equals one, b equals one, c is equal to one. So b square one square minus four into one into one. So I get minus three, which is less than zero. Right. So the discriminant d is less than zero. So what does this conclude? This concludes that the equation has no real roots. Therefore, the answer is option C, which states that it has no real roots. So we have solved the exercise 4.1 of the NCRT exemplar, wherein the first exercise includes multiple choice questions. So you had 11 questions and we have identified the right option. Now, whenever you have multiple choice questions, so the main aim is to identify the right option by taking minimum time so you should not spend a lot of time uh, solving mcq questions so you need to identify the right answer taking minimum time right so i hope you have followed all the problems the solution how to find the solution of all the problems and do not forget to like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and thanks for watching